Yeah, welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to my small adventures with the World War II time frame in mind. Today, it's all gonna be about what you see here on the table. But first, I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of my uh, Patreon and PayPal supporters. And uh, people like you make this come true. And with the kind donations coming in, I can actually do my work and present material like this to you as you see here today. Also, thank you to all of my viewers, subscribers, commenting, you know, giving the thumbs up, hitting that notification bell, checking out the ads. All of that helps me to do what I need to do, and that is to present history in the way that you see here. Right Sometimes history actually comes to you, and that is what happened with this little adventure that you're gonna see. Um, a young boy got inspired by watching other people's uh, World War II history videos like myself. And uh, what came out of that was nothing less than totally amazing. It's kind of like a unique uh, thing to find so many items that this young uh, boy did in this confined area, actually on their own land. And no one knew it until this little day when that boy stuck his shovel into the ground and started to discover history. And um, I was, as I said, very, very fortunate to be able to take part in all of that, at least some of it. And some of the items you see here uh, is a result of this very, very special happening. So I hope you enjoy it. This is actually a remix of what I've made earlier, but there's a lot of new scenes, a lot of new material for you to watch. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's roll some video and see what history shared with us this day. First, just a very brief background on this location. It's um, a small area between some mountains and uh, well here you can see some of the relics that they are digging for uh, it's just a very small location between squeezed in between two mountain sides and the germans had to come this way to be able to cross a river and uh, continue on north and um, let's just say it this way they really met resistance and it was not such an easy thing as i thought it would be so um, they actually, you can have or see a magazine pouch for the K98. They are all over this place. The date will be like on here. Here's the actual clips that was in this pouch. Here you have racers from the German Wehrmacht and you have 9mm and there's actually Colt 45. I'll, I'll say a little bit more about them later. But um, Basically what happened was that the Germans were halted here and they just figured out that okay let's just make a big camp here. So they made this a transit camp for the activities that was going on further north and um, this place really had a lot of soldiers stationed here so it was sort of like a, a exchange station where some soldiers would uh, come off from, from Europe and some would uh, come down south towards Europe and they would cross fields here and that's why they have so many relics coming up from this location. So it's very exciting, very interesting to find out more about this place and I'm gonna just see if I can find some more of these small wonderful relics and show you what this little guy has actually been able to do. He's fantastically eager and he has a stamina so like an ox. You know, they've been digging here for several months and there are so many things coming up. So it's absolutely mind boggling to see. Here is one of the area that he's working in right now. And you can see the wine bottles coming up. He has found bottles that are complete and just to show you an example of how many there actually are there have a look at that that's all wine and beer bottles from the German Wehrmacht time frame and quite interesting to see how many they actually been able to find here but I'm gonna change location to a little bit further up and show you some more here 
everywhere you just look there are relics let's look at this one this is a Nivea bottle with the German writing on it and it's definitely a genuine article from the uh, location here and many of these are found with the labels so you can actually read what it says and that's quite amazing <coughs> like on this piece here you can see 43 41 to 43 that means that this part has probably been from some sort of um, I'm not sure it's a, it's a leather thing so it could be something for a booth and here you can see you have what I think is uh, that's definitely a, a booth of some sort I have never seen anything like that before myself actually it looks like a dry suit sort of uh, <laughs> booth but um, I'm not sure then again you have one of these masks that's probably a goggle for could be for some of the personnel driving the the armored vehicles here you have the um, our um, what's it say Nesptan so even here is markings over there and this is a very very nice example of one of the pieces that you can find here is a uh, K98 scabbard um, this is for some of the uh, some of the creams there are hundreds of them here and you know there are so many relics here you have some bottles really really nice bottles perfume and uh, eau de cologne over here again you have one of the uh, Bakelite uh, fat boxes where there would be fat inside again some of the ammo pouches actually has probably been quite complete when it was came up from the ground but you know when you're young it's not that easy to recognize how these things should be treated but uh, this young gentleman is learning as he goes along and uh, it's very nice to see that he actually tries now to take care of the relics found here on his local position excellent here are more relics from the location this one came up the other day and uh, looks like a power supply unit of some sort um, KA6 or something this looks like a rheostat that you sort of uh, control some power with this is very interesting this is actually broken but this is a piece of um, a actual sort of strategy board uh, which the Germans had this is actually a bomb design so it was uh, a um, sort of piece put on a uh, board and the Germans could sort of play off their strategic plan on this board with these pieces and I have some pictures of some other pieces here you can see and they are quite extreme rare to find and this chap here has been so lucky he found a lot of them and these are in backlight easily broken when you dig them up but um, incredible to see them here in the ground again we can see a personal item here this is actually harmonica just imagine how many times it probably has played some of the German marching tunes and it's here absolutely fantastic have thousands upon thousands with the racers and you have also other personal things like combs and backlight there is another uh, scabbard for the K98 bayonet and it just goes on and on and on here you have a fork many of these forks have the eagle and everything on them and that is probably the piece that was there so it's mine blowing this place here there are so many relics and uh, look at that one probably a toothbrush toothbrush from the second world war and it's still there with the brush amazing just came over to this place of the location here is one of the gas mask containers you can see the aluminium inlay still inside there here is where the lid was this is quite amazing there's a bottle here with the actual label on top of it 
and we did discuss yesterday whether that was an eagle there but it says here on this side here it says um, uh, it says let me see I think it says Bergor Heiberg Schmidt so we'll look at that probably one of the German officers having a drink in the evening and the bottle ends up here quite interesting here you can see one of his digging tools and he's going along digging some trenches and everywhere where he digs he will actually start finding some relics the gas mass container came out from that hole and so it just goes on and on and on unbelievable amount of relics here I take you over to another place here and I'll show you something totally incredible it's part of a field kitchen you see the name oh sorry the number here is very clearly seen even today you can imagine how many rations and portions of food would have gone in here German writing still down there and here you have original thermos casing no Hazag Hazag sorry <laughs> I was a bit too fast there so original Hermos thermos Hazag so a German um, field ration thing with the original markings here you can see he has collected some of the what I think is the beer bottles I also found a lot of these earlier and they would have like the time stamp underneath there that's 44 and let's have a look under this one so, uh, that's just a three but they're all sort of stamped underneath so he's just putting them up in this sort of arrangement here but uh, just to let you know how many bottles they are finding here have a look at that it's another pile probably about 50 bottles and another pile another pile and another pile <laughs> absolutely incredible but I thought I'll show you something here I'll show you something that is actually very very rare to find look at that the German soldiers shoe with the metal sort of backplate the spikes in the shoe itself so they're still here here you can see the heel is that incredible or what and um, not just one but loads of them and this is <laughs> it's quite amazing to see so here you have the genuine German booth that they used when they fought the war and um, it's not often you can come across this sort of uh, things just laying there just underneath the surface in a field so I'm not sure what to say actually because I've actually never seen that many boots in one place from the Second World War